I'm Steve Adubato. We are right here at St. Barnabas Medical Center. I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Kyle Chappell, who is a neurosurgeon here at St. Barnabas. We're talking about stroke. We're talking about some new treatments for stroke. Sure. By the way, before we go into this, there is an acronym called FAST, F-A-S-T, which has a lot to do with stroke, right? Yes, that's probably the most important thing uh, a person can remember if they're thinking that anyone they know is under having a stroke. FAST is an acronym. Uh, the F stands for face. If you see any asymmetry in the face, one side's you know, drooping, the other side is normal, think that the person could possibly be having a stroke. The A, it stands for arms. You hold your arms out. If one can't sustain and starts to drift down or is weaker than the other, that's a problem. Uh, and that you should be thinking of stroke as well. S. S is for speech. Uh, if they're having any slurring of their words, if they're having any problems with, uh, with how they're pronouncing things, that's a possible stroke as well. And then the T is for time. The most important thing when it comes to stroke. Time is always an issue because we have a certain amount, a certain window where we can treat stroke. The faster you call 911, the faster you get to the patient to a hospital like St. Barnabas, the better the patient's going to do. The other thing is that uh, Dr. Chappell is going to talk to us about uh, neuroendovascular surgery, and it's really had a tremendous impact on the treatment of people dealing with stroke, right? Sure, talk sure. About it. So, so endovascular neurosurgery is. Uh, the way we treat a certain type of stroke from the inside of the blood vessels. We feed a catheter through an artery in the groin. Right. We pass that all the way up into the brain, that special catheter, and uh, we try to engage whatever the problem is with the stroke that is, is occluding the blood flow or from occluding. getting to the brain. So there's two types of stroke. One type is where blood bursts into the brain, and it's called hemorrhagic. And there's another type of stroke, which is what people more commonly think of. It's called ischemic stroke. Where ischemic. Ischemic. So blood can't get to the brain, so the brain is starved for oxygen and nutrients. And as, as it, it needs a lot of oxygen, needs a lot of nutrients, and if it doesn't get that, the brain starts to shut down and eventually it dies and you have a stroke. So usually what happens is there's a blockage in the blood flow, in the artery, in the pipeline going to the brain, and that blockage, sometimes it's a clot or some other things, but that blockage is preventing the, the blood from getting to the brain. So what we do is we go through the groin, we thread a special catheter up into the brain, inside of the blood vessel, where that blockage is occurring, that occlusion, and we try to engage whatever that is that's blocking the blood flow, grab hold of it, and then pull it out and remove it from the patient, reestablishing the blood flow into the brain. So the technology's been around for years, uh, probably 15 years or so, maybe 10 years, uh, but the technology with our, our modern materials are getting better and better where we're better able to pass into small blood vessels in the brain, we're better able to get a good grip on whatever it is that's blocking that blood flow, and we're better able to pull that blockage out without damaging the brain or the, the blood vessel that we're working on the inside of and that success rate is translating into better patient outcomes. I mean, there's an entire stroke team here at uh, St. Barnabas because when it comes to the window of opportunity for treating stroke, there, if you treat it very early, there's a possibility of a, a, a stroke neurologist uh, who's a doctor that treats stroke by injecting a clot buster into your arm and that medication goes systemically and tries to open up the clot in the brain. If that doesn't work, if that occlusion stays, then they call in the neurosurgery team, which is myself and my colleagues, and then we come in and we try to do the catheterization and thread and pull out that clot from inside of the blood vessels. And there's a whole team, there's the neuro ICU here, there's a, the interventional uh, neurology and, and neurosurgery suite here that we do the work in. There's a big team that all comes together to, to get some great patient outcomes when it comes to stroke.